Is it still illegal if they can't feel you feeling them up? Paraplegic. We could feel our paraplegics. Are we live, man? Yeah, we're live. And how yeah, many? That is so true, dude. Um, um, I'm just getting the numbers in. They're coming in slow, but it's it's looking like about 33. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. There's a drop off. They're coming That's unbelievable. in slow. Honestly. Hmm. Let's start with a little cat on the back. It's fucking insane. That's what that is. What was it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, what were you, what, what are we clapping? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What was it? Man, it's episode number 30. There's only 10 episodes left, everyone. Don't bother liking the video. I'm not going to ask you to comment. Um, just enjoy the f- the free Yeah, we're doing it different now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah look, I'm not going <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> no, Look at him. He looks like a Sue. His name is Sue. Uh, Susan, yeah. Sue Allen. <laughs> I've grown my hair into an afro and um <laughs> it's not being received well. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Ooh. What's happened to us? Well, I'll tell you what's happened to us. Our meeting with the Lord Mayor has been postponed. <laughs> we had a meeting with the Lord Mayor. We were meant Mayor. to fully forgot about it. We were meant to go this Friday. We were meant to go have a leading meeting with the Lord Mayor. <laughs> We fully did. <laughs> I do remember you talking about this. What happened? Oh, they just emailed and said, oh, something's come up, but they're going to reschedule. So hopefully, I don't know what we're going to do. I, I reckon we pitch the whole starvation, solving starvation and shit. Hey, what, and no, show him our corn shit video? I no, we, we tell him. Like, we explain it with like, go through like theories on like a fucking pad. Yeah, and we think that we, that Brisbane needs pointer. some, like a marketing budget to start telling people about this. Yeah. So and like, and no, we tell him that we think we're going to put Brisbane on the map because of this and yeah. we want funding. And then we'll hold up a map of like America and they see Brisbane's not on here, man. And then we'll hold up a Brisbane, a map of Australia and then Brisbane and I will say, look, there's Brisbane. If we do what, what we can do, we can get it on the map. We can get it on the map. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you get well, a chart, big chart made up. I'm ex- like, ex- uh, he won't take it seriously, but we could get some content out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Ju- Julian's coming to film the whole shebang, cunt. And you can't swear in front of him. He won't We'll be gentlemen. I will oh, probably wear we'll suits. Be, we'll be gentlemen we and suits. scholars. I'll have you know that I am an upper class standing man. Yeah, standing. You already what? swore. What happened on the weekend? What do we do? I went to the beach. Sorry. Mm. I played golf. You bowled. Oh, yeah. That's right. A bit of a family weekend with Mon and Esther. Uh, Will you just excuse me for one second, boys? Just got something to do real quick. Yes. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, nice and calm. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Nice and calm this time around. Susan's calm. (laughs) My lad, I'm not going to speak to me, my baby. <laughs> Your baby. Speak to me, my baby, darling. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's been quite a good start. <laughs> Woo, <Woo-hoo>, baby. <laughs> We're autistic or something. He's standing up. Yeah, you're being, your head. You're being stand up, beast. <laughs> I heard oh. that it's healthier for you to stand in the office. <laughs> oh, man. That was true. That was a good start. I want to call you Susan. This fucking podcast. I'll allow it. <laughs> Susan. Susan the frog. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. Don't add that. Don't okay. add the frog bit. But, um, yeah, we've just been filming. Other than that, nothing exciting has happened, has it? I'm trying to think. What did we film last week? We've been fucking pranking each other a bit we've been fucking we shot each other today with gel b- balls with the blindfolded gel blaster video that's what we filmed today man oh, okay and and guess what what do you we want to get shot with one yeah right. uh, yeah go on you get the gun are they loaded i don't know i think we emptied the chamber so it's quite painful right it's like a fucking uh it's like yeah like half of a paintball roughly i think it's empty but you can show everyone bring me that tub <sighs> And blind, we were blindfolded, right? So we were shooting each other. Anyway, 
it's on the website it's too fucked for um social media unfortunately but um yeah it's fucking it's good shit man which brings us to our sponsors no fuck it you're right man (laughs) fuck the sponsors this episode all right if you're watching this manscaped you send that money through everyone fucking knows who sponsors this show we don't need to say it every fucking week (laughs) father's day specials and shit they got like fucking ball deodorant who does that who makes that Uh, manscaped the sponsor of this uh, podcast so good on them for doing that thank you for giving us a little bit of money and of course the subscription website where we post our lives a half hour episode of our lives every Sunday a huge episode comes out behind the scenes videos we can't film anywhere else like a video with this gun that Michael's about to shoot Matt with <laughs> can we shoot you on the top of the head no. oh oh my god dude dude <laughs> holy <laughs> fuck <laughs> balls can't <laughs> Oh, dude, it feels good. I'm just sorry, but that felt good. Just one on the head. Just one on the top of the head. Go. You got to come into frame. Oh, am I in frame? I'm in frame. Oh, sh- oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did sting a little though. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, Matt, how was your day at work? Oh. God. So, I'm at work. And um, I work with a girl named Larissa and she goes to me today, I watch one of your podcasts. Oh, yeah. oh yes! 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 I'm excited for this. And I was like, oh, so I got a little excited because somebody watched it mm. and came to tell me. And because a girl was talking to you, it's right? Diary entries. Diary entries. And then entries. Girls watching. she followed that up with... Oh, because I asked her which one did you watch, and she followed up with uh, the one where they you, you make out that you're a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> There's heaps. There's heaps of those. It's like all of them. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that's. Uh, what did she mean with question? No, no, I don't know. The one where I'm a stalker, I just sat back down. But she would have been like, she gets it. She knows it's comedy. Yeah, she understood. She's got a good sense of humor. What did she say after that? Did she laugh and say, oh, it's very good. Huh? Yeah, we had a little giggle and I just spoke about other things. That brings me to the next topic. Oh, no. Matthew, since oh, that no. happened, you are the employee of the week. Give yourself count the bag, mate. You're the funniest stalker I have ever seen, cunt. Come yeah. and have a look at that. Holy shit, man. And this is thanks to Nikki and Sabrina. And we'll put this right here, Matt. Like, you can look at that and people can see your award. It's, that's a trophy. You have you a win. trophy. So, that's what that's what happens if... If you do well. You get approached by your workmates. And they make fun of you for being a stalker. That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky duck. Um, fuck, man. Back. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> But uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. No, nah, let's be real. It's pretty good. But um, we've we've entered, as you all know, we mentioned last year, we're trying to enter the podcast awards. We're starting to think, let's not even bother with the main categories. Let's just stick to listener's choice. That's open to the public. And like you guys can vote. We'll let you guys know when those lines are open. But if you could like psychologically prepare yourselves to vote for us, that would be Yeah, sick. last time it was you need to log in and cast your vote with your email address i believe oh was really awesome. fuck we did well though last year that's, that's why right. they People did can yeah. do well, that. last year i think we sent a personal message to every single person who mm. vote who that's voted for we'll us do. so we'll do that again that'll be a big open. day that'll be a fucking big old day i'll <laughs> even jump in on <laughs> that <laughs> fucking matt brownie you can't yes <laughs> oh we bought a van that's something else that's happened. Yeah, man. That fucking that massive- That van out the front. That is our fucking van. Know we, we got that yet. No. Yeah. We I bought did, that- I did, but uh, sorry. Fuck. You fucked my mind. Yeah, we bought that uh, last week. It's the nicest thing we've ever bought. Oh. Like, have it's we, so we nice to have about it. this, haven't we? Yeah, we, you In, mentioned on the that website. you bought a van the other day, but- No, not on the podcast. Oh, okay. I'm sure you did. Because we bought it last week. Tuesday. So, we must have I spoken about it. 
We're still wrapped about it, guys. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to get it wrapped and shit. It's a fucking... It works. Like, everything in there Aircon. works. You have yeah. to take care Bluetooth of it. Bluetooth blows my mind. Yeah, you push a button oh, and it plays his I've never <laughs> had it. It's so exciting. Dude. I can put my Spotify playlist on. Yeah, it's like, okay. bang. Yeah, just always to push, there. And it's got a screen you can push buttons on. It's got a fucking... <laughs> it's sick, dude. Seriously. Because, you, yeah, you've got it in your... You've got a yeah. reverse camera as well, so I don't need to twist my neck around mm. anymore, man. My and neck is already so on much On the less. side mirrors, you press a button and they move. You don't have to fucking pull your window down. Yeah. So it's a good mirror. van. And it's hey, well, all, the cars have had this for a long time. Yeah, I know. But that's what I mean. We've we have never, never had something nice. Yeah, we've never had a nice car. So, and it's all thanks mostly to the website members. So fucking legends, thank you for supporting us. And now we have a van. So and that's going to carry all your stuff. We can go, we can do some cool shit. We can put film crews and film gear and go drive fine aliens. We're going to find aliens, dude. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Any diary entries? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. All right, what Just do we got? Just think Before about we... the effect of my life, though. <laughs> Before we go into diary entries, what, what have we got coming this episode? We got questions. We got fucking questions. What have we got coming this episode? We got, we got questions. We got fucking secrets. Secrets. We got stuff to explain. Explanations. Explanations. Oh, I'm excited for that. And fucking, uh, we don't have any PO uh, unboxing shit. But, My bad. But, and then prank call at the end, I'm going to fucking prank call Qantas. Tell him I need to put a pig on a plane ASAP, cunt. I'm excited for that. Anyway, let's get through these diary entries. All right, everyone. And I hope everyone is feeling very well out there. <laughs> <laughs> Diary entry number 137 from Michael Corey Bookhouse. Oh, I've decided to let flies be. <laughs> if a fly lands on me now, I just let it crawl around. The other day, I had about 14 flies crawling around my bare back and arms. It felt like I was getting a back tickle from a girlfriend. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm attracted to flies. I place flies in the opening of my doodle and the buzzing vibrations of the fly trying to escape makes me come sometimes. Just be more B. It's the only way to be. And that's quite a heartfelt diary entry. Dude, you get me, man. You fucking get me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Diary entry number 106 oh, from Marty. <clears throat> Mum says TV is bad for you, so we don't have one. And look out of our only window instead. It's a view of the neighbor's wall, and today was a really good episode of our neighbor's wall because while I was watching, I saw a spider. I got to watch out of the window for half an hour before mum closed the window because it was getting cold. I can't wait until tomorrow when I can look out the window again. It was a pretty good day. Oh, wow. I remember that, the old window instead of TV. Fucking hell. That would be the shit. Oh, there were some rough weeks there because nothing would really... It was just sort of a view of like the neighbor's wall, which was like a meter and a half away from us. So it really wasn't much of a view, but sometimes sometimes we got lucky and like, yeah, saw a spider or like an animal scutter across. And the gecko? That was actually really exciting times. Yeah. The geckos? Yeah, oh, yeah. The, in, in summer, let me tell you, mate. <laughs> lots of geckos. Yeah, yeah, lots of geckos. Matt's standing up and looking at the at the camera, What's and he's up, looking, looking a bit confused. His brow is like this, like like burrowed down a bit. Matthew, and, he, and he's squinting his eyes and he's thinking. He's walked back to his chair. He's walked past his laptop. Now he's at the light. He's just he's adjusted. The, he's adjusting the light right now. He's being producer stuff. He's twisting it around, like moving it closer back to his laptop. And now he's still sort of fucking around with it. Now he's back to the phone. He's still got the same confused look on his face. Hands he's, in his hands pocket. Hands in his pocket now. So it's like it's complete and utter confusion. And what? he's sort of thinking, yeah, maybe. Maybe I should. Are you okay? Actually, yeah. I'm going to sit back down. <laughs> anyway, diary entry number right. 69 from Julian James, Tennyson Woods, from Ashgrove, 4060 till I die. Today I'll practice my finger on some roadkill off him. Chicks love it when you can <clears throat> finger heaps good, so I always practice at least once a week. My finger muscles are so strong now that I can finger blast a whole room full of roadkill and still have energy left to toss myself. Best way to fuck a chick is to finger blast a rock melon in front of them to show them your finger strength. Trust me, cunt. I finger heaps of sluts. Ha 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 you! I know curse. I stab, push, curse. I stab, stab, stab. Stand up, cunt. Stab, stab. Bop it. 
<laughs> yes, yes, dude. <laughs> he does know oh. cursor. He knows dude. cursor. Oh fuck! Did you that know was that? a very good one. Did you know that, Matt? Yeah. All right. Well, here's your fucking diary entry, mate. Oh. <laughs> Diary entry number one thousand and seventy four from Matthew Gregory Brown. <laughs> I have to lower my uh, demeanor. Oh, no. It was a warm, humid November evening, and I was sticky taping ice cubes to my nipples and shaving my legs. I heard a knock on the door and popped a turtleneck singlet on. My pizza must have arrived. I opened the door and immediately hear my testicles start growling. It was a female delivery driver. I had never seen one before. She was morbidly obese and had a small amount of facial hair. But this particular beast intrigued me. $20.50, please. She struggled to speak after the walk from her car to my door. I felt her hot breath pummel into my face and my pupils turned into an erection shape. I handed her $30 and her fat fingers pecked at my hand while she picked up the coins. As her clammy, soft fingers pressed into my hand, I could smell my little brown sm swelling with hot mints. Keep the change, I said through gritted teeth. I was fighting hard to suppress my urge to lunge at this creature and dismantle her with heavy petting then cripple her with long, hard fuck thrusts. She noticed the strain in my voice and saw my stiff little brown biting small chunks of flesh out of my upper thighs. She looked a little scared and started backing away. I screamed at her as loudly as I could. She turned and started running to the car. I came. She fumbled for her keys and she was crying. I could have so easily caught her, but hot mince was already gushing down my legs, stripping my remaining leg hair and melting parts of my skin. Thank you! I waved as she sped off, still crying. Although I made her uncomfortable, I'm proud of myself for not acting on my urge. I feel like maybe I could control this one day. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, that must have been oh, when you were starting to realize oh, that maybe oh, oh. like you didn't have to live a life oh. like that anymore. Wow, that's pretty that's like a pretty monumental diary entry. Oh man. In fact, like <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! I seriously thought you can't stand up like that. It's a standing ovation. I thought you were farting. He's self upon self-reflection, he's realizing that he can control it. I, it's, I'm, I'm, got, I'm fighting back like tears right now. It's like pretty... Wow. Anyway, good on you, Matt. Fucking hell. <laughs> like you've realized it. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> God. Uh, Sorry. Next, uh, next segment. Sorry, next segment has been renamed to... <laughs> <laughs> and this is a segment where we answer your questions now if you want your question answered just comment your question on the Marty Michael fully actual YouTube channel the questions with the most likes are at the top they're the ones we read first so comment whatever question you want us to answer and then have a scroll through and like some of the comments that you want us to answer as well it's like engaging oh man it is like creating a small community and just whipping them all and saying do this do well, this maybe What's oh yeah, what's what's going on? Who, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Brown. Matthew Brown. Matthew Brown. Stab. All right. Qu top question is from Dan Jones. Marty and Michael, what's the worst thing you've ever done to each other that you felt guilty afterwards? Mm, interesting. Mm. We've answered the, a similar question to this, but upon upon reflecting. I, I did feel a little bit bad. Um, the billboard, the prank, the billboard prank. Waste well, of money. Well, A, because, yeah, I was spending like both of our money without any, he had no idea about it. And um, and it was a, a shit timing too because like no one even saw the billboards because lockdown happened bloody a week after we fucking put them up, cunt. Yeah, what a <laughs> So waste. no one's on the fucking streets. And rotation. They rotate through like 10 yeah. different yeah. things. So... I yeah, felt Julian would hurt my feelings by saying, I haven't seen it once, cunt. Yeah. He'd say that to me. And he'd drive around looking for him and just it'd be like, yeah, it'd be hard to find him. So, a uh, bit of a waste of money, but we got like an okay video out of that. So, <laughs> you, <Ew>. Sorry, man. <laughs> Michael, do you have anything? I reckon... Do you ever feel guilty? Yeah. <laughs> I reckon like after, after like a fair few times of pissing your bed, 
I started to feel pretty bad. What about know. the first few times you pissed the bed? Yeah. Well, yeah, true. All of them. Well, really, even the first one. You were laughing profusely. What happened the first it. time? Do you remember the first one? I don't remember the first one. Oh, I remember the first time. No, no, the but first not the one. The first one at Marty's. The first one. I remember the one. <laughs> Where you were fucking passed out in Aurora and I was banging on the door for about half an hour oh, screaming. That one was bad. And then he had put a nappy on because he knew he was going <laughs> to yeah. piss himself. But the, the nappies, adult nappies don't do shit if you're yeah, a fucking, if you have got a bladder full of piss <laughs> and it just overflowed and, and just, just fucked the whole bed. <laughs> and after half an hour of slamming on the door, she finally woke up. All the neighbors were coming out of their homes. <laughs> Is everything all right? Oh. Yeah, it's fine. My only, I've actually been pretty lucky with Michael, but one time we were at a person's house and I was sleeping on the couch and Michael was still roaming around in the early hours while everyone was sleeping. He does that. And he's, <laughs> and he's wearing, we were in the pool, I think. And so, he's wearing nothing but a towel. Mm. And he, and I got woken by him sitting on my feet. Like, he came and just sat down on my feet thinking I was just sitting on the couch, but I was actually asleep on the couch. And he had no clue. He was out of his mind. And then I, I like looked up and he had gotten comfortable and his towel had opened up and it was just completely naked in front of me with it aiming at me. And I knew. That's I knew, me I tried to sneak my way in. <laughs> and I dead set knew that he was going to piss himself. So, I was like, I've got to get out of here. And I remember, I remember going to like another couch in another room. Oh, I, I know. I slept there and you end up pissing a very expensive couch. Yeah, I know that person. Yeah, you know exactly. What famous I'm person. About. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, they they actually right. took it pretty well. Yeah, she was so chill. Yeah, she was right about it. But that's yeah, right. um, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the first times, but must say, good friends because they have always been the water under the bridge. Once, or piss, <laughs> piss, piss under, under the, the rug. mattress. <laughs> <can't>. <laughs> <laughs> piss under the mattress. Can't. It's piss, <laughs> piss under the rug. Right, the mattress. The can't. Next, All right, question. next question is from Stephen Hunt. The Hunt. Mm -hmm. um, if there is a movie made about Matt Brown and Question, which actors would you boys choose to play the roles of Question and Matt? <sighs> I'd be. If we had to play Question or Matt, no. Which actors would you choose to play me and Question? Were you to be Question? <laughs> I can't be Question. I Michael could do a pretty good Matt. Do Matt. <laughs> he did nothing. Uh, oh, it's difficult. Uh, it's difficult. That was tough. You, do, you do you do Michael, Matt. <laughs> Me do Michael. Yeah, what is your impersonation of Michael? <laughs> Fuck. That's pretty good. <laughs> no. Just more cackle. Yeah, it happened to me just now. I, I tried to think of something. I thought of something funny, laughed, and then I was like, it's too good. It's too, it's too hard. It's difficult. I can do his laugh. <laughs> oh, oh. That laugh. The wheeze laugh. Fuck, yeah, it's maybe that. It's fucking disgusting. Anyway, sorry about that. What sorry. are you doing? Next um, question. question. Next question. Um. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, this is a great question. This one is from Rob Woodward. Um, would you rather be attacked by a horse-sized duck or a thousand duck-sized horses? This has been said a, thousand, a lot. Yeah, has it? A thousand duck-sized horses. I've never yeah. heard this. Sorry. Because a horse-sized you, duck, you've ruined that fucked. question. You fucked. A horse-sized duck would fucking kill you, cunt. Yeah, it well, would it'd you. get its beak around you, and it would fucking snap. No, your you could and punch shit. it in the neck, and it Dude, would hurt. It's it. a size of a horse, man. <laughs> you could hit it in the neck. <laughs> I, I think about nah, man. I reckon it would fucking think you're food or something. Think yeah, you're a the rat. Beak? We're like a rat size compared to that. Yeah, they'd be yeah. fucking. You could get like a, a shovel and snap its leg. Yeah, but like imagine a thousand fucking, what is it? A thousand horses? A thousand of them. One's going to attack a little bit of you and then it's like going to distract you. Then the other one hits you in the head. You're going to get blown from heaps of other spots. No, you get Dude, trampled the horse, by the horses, like, What are they going to do? Let them surround me and then what? What are they going to, the small little horses try and bite me? Just crush them one by Dude, one. they're like stand little dogs. A thousand of them will overcome you. Like no ants. way, I'd back myself against a thousand duck-sized horses. I'd take the weird fucking because horses can't pigeon thing. Horses, the only thing horses just... have is their size 
they can kick. Uh, if you take away their size, they have nothing that can kill you. A horse wouldn't even run up and start biting. So horses don't do that. I feel like if I was paid a fair bit of money, I'd feel confident enough to fight a horse-sized duck. Uh, give, as long as I'm allowed a weapon, like a shovel or something. Yeah. All right, Although, well, let's, let's tee these up. Or what about their little beaks? Oh, sorry, their little feet, their little sharp feet. See, these horses don't have sharp feet. I feel one little kick from a... a I'll, I'll, I'll fucking um, dress up as a fucking uh, horse-sized duck. Right? And I'll cut you, myself you, up. And you see if... To a thousand pieces. If you beat that. Throw me at you. Yeah. All right? We'll do an experiment <laughs> on it. Yeah. All right? We'll do that one tomorrow, mate. All right. Next questions. Did you guys watch the Jake Paul and the uh, fucking thing fight, by the way? Oh, someone did ask something about that. Yeah, fucking... I'll see if I can get to it. He keeps, like, Woodley... I don't know. I, I put some money on Jake Paul to win. Because it's like, he keeps picking these dudes... The UFC fight, it's a completely different sport. It'd be like us playing the best badminton player ever in tennis. I feel like I would probably fucking win because it's bag- It's two different sports and he's only, you know, he was a good puncher even though he's a wrestler, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I, and he hasn't won for three years. He's nearly 40 years old. He's fucking much smaller naturally than Jake Paul is. It's like, yeah, very bad matchup for, for Woodley, but I guess he's doing it for the fucking cash. Julian was wrong. Happy. <laughs> Brown? Next question is from Oliver Rosen. Um, from the UK, love you guys. Uh, if you could be a type of parasite that's not a ringworm, what would it be? Tapeworm? Easy question. I'd be a fucking tapeworm, man. You sit in the guts and you I reckon, feast. Imagine being a knit. <laughs> Of like a really hot or a flea, head. yeah, yep. that's true. Or a flea or a tick, yeah. a tick you could try and kill someone. That could be mm. fun. And fleas, you like, yeah. I feel like fleas and ticks and shit. They just get rid of them real quick. If you're a nit, you know, you you're a nit for a day, and then till your host realizes, shit, I got nits, and then they poison you. If we, at least with the tapeworm, you can stay in the tummy and you can grow your whole life, cunt. People, yeah, we've probably got tapeworms. Hundred percent, man. I How do you check ones for tapeworms? You, you can't check. You just you can take medication. You sh- everyone should apparently. Mon's fucking whole family gets dewormed all the time. Fuck. Let's do that. Yeah. Surely you'd be able to do a test of some kind. You'd probably have to check your stool or something. Oh, have you seen the videos of the big, long fucking things? And then they're fucking wandering around, coming out of the asshole. And then you try and rip them back out, but they just get stuck because they've got little hooks on them. Oh, I did see. (laughs) Yeah, they've got little hooks. They hook them into your colon. You can't pull them out. You can only rip them in half. And then the upper half grows another head. And then they continue to grow and live in you forever. Parasites are fucked. I did see one where a guy, I think, I feel like it's it's somewhere in Africa, and the guy had a really bad foot he could barely walk anymore and the tapeworms had gone down into the bottom of his foot and died and that and in i don't know started just causing Rotting. pain to his foot <sighs> what about those bot flies or whatever you call them? oh yeah they're out of, oh i don't want to do they that they fucking they ride right mm, they fucking they pop out pop yeah, out you got to get get in with tweezers and pull out their it's not on sacks it's not right yeah, that is not a good like animal, I've, man. I've seen like people have them in their heads Imagine yeah. a fucking weird fly thing in your head. Where did, where are those bot flies? We'll sort that out Some later. sort of Af- Africa, right? No, it'd be like South America or something in there. But yeah, maybe we should start getting dewormed. I've been, I'm probably going to just just take the medication for it. Just whenever, see. yeah, whenever you Does go it kill it? Does it kill it all? and I'm coming. I don't Until know. you get it next time? I don't know. I'll have to find out. Yeah, can you ask that? Yeah, this question you, is from Lyndon Arkell. Oh, Lyndon. Um, what is the estimated total worth, what do you think, is the estimated total worth of the fully actual wig collection? There must be at least 20 wigs there, each valued at $50. So $1,000. Dude, that's crazy, man. Holy shit. We should start signing them and sell them on our OnlyFans, oh, which hasn't started yet. But we've tried. company. We have finally got a hold of someone and they have given us some a more clear direction of what to do. And they have said to take a photo of all three of us in the same photo. So we just did that before. So hopefully by this time next week, we fucking got our OnlyFans. I want to see that little brown cunt. Next question is from Matt. Um, I I have a question for Marty and Michael. Uh, What is it like collaborating with Jackson? Is he gross? Is he mature? Is he a lot of fun? 
wouldn't say he's mature. He's as fucking immature as we are. <laughs> yeah, there's some fun times, eh? It's like children hanging <laughs> it's out. It's like children hanging out. But they would drive past the school, look on the playground, see how they play. That's what it is hanging out with when we hang out with Jackson. Okay, yeah. it's all us who are playing on playgrounds. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's just, it's fucking, yeah, of course. It's fun. All right, next question is from Reb Skell. He's asked this so many times and I've ignored it so many times. He just wants to know what time it is. The time right now is uh, circular. And it's a, it's a something that has no beginning and no end. And the time is also like 6.30. Wow. All right. Next question is from uh, oh, I can't say this one either. Damas Burilis. Wow, yeah. that, you've butchered that name, man. <laughs> so that I'm is so sorry, that man. is how offensive. <laughs> hey, at least I tried. Sorry. Um, would you rather? Would you rather know when or how you die? So when you die or how you die? This question was asked on Shami's Uncut podcast, and the boys couldn't come to an answer. I'd say how. Because you might be able to change it. Well, if you know when you're going to die, you're going to know how eventually because as you're leading up to it, say if it's like that day and you're at a ski resort, you're probably going to die. Plus, Yeah, the night before is going to be... Yeah, so like wherever you are, you're going to die around. Mm. So you'd probably want to be like in a room with pillows everywhere and and like padding on the walls and a straight jacket. Depending on how you die, of course. But you don't know how you die. You might have a heart attack by yourself in a room with padding. Wouldn't you? Would you rather know when or how? I would just rather know how, and then whatever the how is, just steer Avoid well it. away yeah. from that. You could, yeah. But if you know when, you can prepare everyone around you. Yeah, I know. If dude, I'd fuck. Imagine having a. That would be. I'd be checking that clock nonstop. I'd let everyone know, know so everyone's I've aware got, of it. Got, you know, forty years left and fuck, thirty. Imagine days. if you found out you had like sixty years left. I would just start putting holes in the walls, and then every ad- and then it adjusted. As you went on? What if you had 60 <laughs> minutes left? What, too many holes in the yeah. walls. Imagine checking and they're like, oh, you've got 60 minutes. And the reason that you fucking die is because you found out how long you have left. You would have lived a long, happy life. But seeing 60 minutes has given you a I, fucking heart attack, hunt. Yeah. It's what if we had 60 out. seconds? Oh, I'd start just fucking you cunts. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably just... I'd do some weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd do some very strange things. I'd sprint across the road and enter that house. <laughs> I'd try and rip my dick off. <laughs> in the neighbour's house. Rip the dick off in the neighbour's house. That's what I. That's what we would do if we had sixty oh. seconds left. <laughs> Imagine seeing that, <laughs> and then just doing that for forty seconds. And if you fail, just pull out these scissors and just snip it off. That's better. And then death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good uh, question. Uh, oh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, I'd fully run to the neighbor's house. Such freedom, such freedom. Knowing you only have a few, there, were, there are no consequences to your behaviors. Um, run in with a gel blaster, eh? <laughs> fucking light up their kids if they had any. <laughs> <laughs> the kids in the face, fucking oath cunt. And if they put their hands up, I'd run over to them, pull their hands away, and keep shooting their face. <laughs> Like stand, put their hands on the ground and stand one foot on each hand and standing over them and just point blank right shooting them in the face, just in one spot where the eyes are. <laughs> they get tired of closing their eyes and it starts going through their yeah, eyelids. Yeah, through the eyelid, cunt. Oh, <laughs> that's what I fucking do, cunt. You come after me, cunt. I'm taking cunts yeah, with you, me. You are fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking them with me. <laughs> that's all I'd keep screaming. <laughs> okay. Anyway, next questions. Next question is from Anne. A um, uh, bit of a random one, but what kind of music are you guys into? Uh, I think we've answered this one before too, but like- Yeah, I'll, I'll try to think, but I couldn't. 
old school sort of rock type shit. Nineties, um, two thousand. Yeah, don't, the, all the new artists and shit. Like Gillian's always talking about these new rappers and shit. And I literally just have never even heard of them. So I'm, that's how old we are now. But also because the type of music has changed so much, the new music doesn't really like. There's a few artists, obviously, that there's you listen some cool to. Cool sounding stuff, but yeah, I agree. Old I school, old rock. Bon Jovi, man. <laughs> bon Jovi and the Veronicas. <laughs> yeah. Next question is from Ollie Boy. Um, <laughs> boys, fuck, marry, or kill Matt Bosley Question. I kill Question. Yeah, kill Question. I would. I probably. I'd fuck Matt. I'd have to fuck Matt because I know that he would survive, <laughs> and we we could just get past that. And just turn him around. And like, Look, Matt, I had to do that. <laughs> I can't fuck we, Bozzy sort it out like oh, Bozzy yeah. wouldn't you couldn't explain to Boz yeah no way and it, so it would betrayed. hurt him his arsehole is much smaller than Matthew's arsehole Matt's arsehole is when he like relaxes it's like the size of a tennis ball so yeah you could really just go to town on Matt I bet like I, yeah it's wears some VR headphones if it was a different <laughs> dog you'd probably go the different dog Oh, yeah, if it's not no, Bosley. No, I, I couldn't do a dog. I prefer to do Matt over a... Ho- I just can't... But it's bear, Matt. You bear, can see the bear hurting. Hanging out with yeah, Matt. You can if it was just a stray dog... You can explain you, it to Matt, you know? You'll never see that stray dog again. Yeah, then okay. you've got Matt. You've yeah, never yeah, fucked it. You, you get a stray dog, you get all sorts of diseases, mate. Smiling well, can, and giggling and if, at you every time you bring it up. It's, what if, it's, it's a clean dog. And then you, you don't have to oh, fuck I don't your think friend. The dog would be like... Like, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, and come. I wouldn't be able to come. I'd be able to come from fucking Matt. What about the dog's <laughs> dead? If the dog was dead, then yeah, I could do it, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. But if Matt and the dog were both dead, I'd still fuck Matt's corpse. <laughs> like, I want to fuck Matt. <laughs> Pretty bad, eh? I like the way you said that. Like, I want to <sighs> fuck Matt. Very good. Very, very worried. Very, good. very, very worried. Um, good. Uh, just fire this one off really quick. Um, Gaprit um, asked uh, what happened to the golly bottle. A lot of people have actually asked that. Oh, really? It is still here though. Yeah, yeah the golly bottle is still here festering in the corner. It's full, full to the brim. Yeah, what do I do without that? Like, I think sure, we lost it's follow. Not, it's not all chunks. So like literally, I've yeah. got to sift it yeah. out. We lost viewership like, that's, over that's, the golly it's bottle. The, it's the, we've sort of found the line of gross. like Because we have a very... The people who watch our shit have a very high tolerance to gross shit. And this, still, even those people, divided people, it was like, this is like hard. And it is. Even just thinking about it makes makes that gaggy feeling start coming in the back of my throat like a train about to thunder through my backyard. I miss it now talking about it. Yeah, the way it dances was pretty spectacular. I tell people that it whispers to you while you sleep. Yeah, well, it fizzes. You. It, it, you know when you open a oh. soda water bottle, it fizzes now. It's gas in it. It's like... It's a new universe. Yeah, sort man. Of. Oh. Um, all right. Well, maybe we'll open it up later. Maybe, maybe. we should do that thing where you, you pour some of it into the pan and you boil it down until it's a paste. I'll do that for a video for the UOM. Oh, Can man. We? That would be... <laughs> Julian wouldn't be able, we'd have to hire someone else to film that. Julian wouldn't be able to film that. Fuck. I'll try it, but I'd vomit probably. <laughs> oh, it'd be so interesting. I, I tried. I filmed the bit of the vomit and golly butter, leave. golly <laughs> butter. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Next All right. question is from a Jirex. Show it. No, we're not getting it out. Yeah, not getting it. So out we did because things will start getting out of hand. Hey, hey, just before you continue. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. He's got something that I want to ask. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ask. <laughs> ask away. Ask away, mate. <laughs> you demon. Please. <laughs> What's happened to your length? <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the, the comment. I put it down. I'm sorry. Do you hold that fucking mic right where my asshole is? Yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Just hold it like close. I think we brought that up in previous yeah, People have commented on it too. <laughs> I, don't, I just I want maximum volume. It's yeah. important to me. It's important to me that there's not shit on my lips. <laughs> 
All right, I'll keep it like minimum. Maybe off to the side or something. Like, oh, I don't know, way. See, like this. Look, I'm talking where my mouth is. So it won't spray onto it. Yeah, it won't spray directly onto well, the Well, I think mic. that's sort of what I've been doing. Okay. Next question is from Gyrex. Gyrex. Um, a bit of a dark question, but if one of you guys, and this includes Matt too, um, if one of you guys died doing a stunt, what would your words be on your grave? This is obviously inspired by Michael's Be More B <laughs> on his gravestone. Um, what would you want on your gravestone? Don't buy the height. Yours is already Yours is B, B more, more B. B. You have no Shit. choice. It's legally okay. binding, man. You yeah. have to get that. All right. You go. Um, I'd probably get um, uh, help. I'm still alive. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. Or um, what else? Maybe like um, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Or like um, fucking... Uh, he lies. He lies? He lies. Here. Here, comma, lies. Just here. You know how they have here lies, bloody David, whatever. Mine is here, comma, lies. So Your name's there's, comma? No, there's lies here. Like lies is in oh. lying. Being dishonest. So oh. Changes the meaning of the lie, you see? Wow. Yeah. So that's full. it's 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 an art form. Very English. It's very English and brown. Next question is from Swamp Box sixty nine. Um this is probably more of an Aussie question, but uh which shop do people prefer? Coles, Woolies or Aldi? They are all supermarkets. <clears throat> I like a Coles because Coles I I I connect with the way that they categorize their food their better. layout yeah yeah like sometimes woolies you'll have you'll be in the fucking f like fruit section and there won't be a fruit there it'll be like in some other weird fucking section that you don't even in the meat section yeah it's like fucking get your shit together woolies there's shit all over the place it's just someone's just come in and thrown food around and there's no rhyme or reason to it i find myself asking the employees every time i go there where something is and it's not right to do that to people. <laughs> I'm a consumer. And I have feelings. <laughs> I reckon Coles too. I used to work at Woolworths and fuck that place. <laughs> yeah, you used to work there I too. Always, I always find that Woolies does get sometimes a better quality, but Coles has such a good layout. I, I, run, the, the I run the nuts. gauntlet. But the you know, nuts section oh has, yeah, Coles does oh, have amazing But nuts. you know, and the underdog though is fucking Aldi. Aldi is, is like, it's like some fucking lazy fuck has just designed these these grocery stores and you go and there's like TVs and <laughs> yeah, shit you can buy I'll put a TV and a vacuum and chuck it in the middle of there <laughs> <laughs> but that fucking the price we used to do a thing we go to Aldi first get your bulk shit and then all your little extra bits and bobs you go to fucking Coles I know where it's at <laughs> <laughs> Like I've been blind my whole life and just started to see. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. Next plane. That's your, that's your new laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we're back and uh look we're trying out a new little segment we've got you guys to uh comment some things that you want us to explain because we realize we have a lot of knowledge that we're not really sharing with you guys all we do is you know fart and fluff around and do all these <laughs> all these sorts of things like that bits and pieces bits and pieces <laughs> but we we don't we don't tell you guys some of the things that you're probably confused about in the world so comment your explanation. This segment's called Yes. Alright. Alright. Next one. Um first explanation first is one. from Aiden Herlo. Um can you guys please explain the meaning of ringworm? <clears throat> this is this this is this takes This is us probably way back. why this is happening right now. This takes In us a way. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. A ringworm is, is the substitute word for anything that you don't know, right? So, fucking, if you've lost so something peculiar, like a fucking pipe, and you say to your roommate, fuck, well, I can't find my fucking, uh, my, my fucking, and you can't think of what that is. You can say, fuck, I can't find my fucking, my ringworm, my, my fucking ringworm. You've always got it there. So, it's your fallback word when you don't know one. That's how ringworm started, okay? And it started like hard 15 years ago. It's been around, man. And it's we've tr- had it a whole time we've ever known each other. Tried and tested word. It is a strength, powerful word. It it gives you a disgusting image in your mind. But the meaning behind ringworm is quite powerful. Last time I saw my parents, my mum said, are you boys still saying that stupid ringworm word? <laughs> and I said, yes, mum. Ringworm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's it's so important. You should get it tattooed on you, everyone. And it's the name of our... You know how like every YouTuber has their their name for their like... Fan their base? family? Yeah. Well, Little community? Ours is like... I think PewDiePie's is like the PewDiePie's or something. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative. <laughs> Fucking Hamby's is Hamby Gang. Hamby Gang for Chris and Hamby. Yeah. So, so ours is <laughs> Ringworms. Yeah, our Ringworms. Because we don't really like... Ringworms are just like... Everything. Yeah, it's so important. So when we call you a ringworm, it's actually from deep within my heart. All the that's way. why at the the front of our Instagrams, it's ringworm Michael, ringworm Marty. It's the most important word, I think. Yeah, no, to 100%. us, it's, a, it's sentimental. No, even in the dictionary, like yeah, it's coming up. It's, we voted number one last year. All right, next uh, explanation is from Cameron Winship. Winship. Um, what does you mean? <laughs> You is the name of the god of the Eshes, and he lives in, uh, he's in the local Ipswich Boy was 50 years ago. He does beer reviews? Uh, no, that's just fucking Julian. Oh. You is the god of Eshes. He started Eshes. The cursor knows him. I'm pretty sure Julian would know who you is, because they're always, when you hear someone going, you, it's someone referring to the Eshe god. It's a way of praying. So, I fucking never knew that. Yeah, so whenever Julian does that, it's like him like praying to the gods, like, oh, I fucked the cheek. You! <laughs> wow. That's great. It's like a celebration thing. Yeah, he's, he's thanking his god that he got to fuck a chick. That's, that's why that Julian is. does it heaps. And also, it also means this. <laughs> yes! Yes! Prolong, prolong. Young man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that deserves a you, yeah, <laughs> you. Oh, oh, very good. With oh, different, that was a good there one. was different sounds, different oh, like different, different levels. levels, different levels. Yeah, it was so. I'm like a DJ kind. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was so <laughs> DJ. DJ fart. <laughs> <laughs> DJ fart in the house. <laughs> DJ Farty Marty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next explanation is from JT. Uh, boys, please explain the science behind the difference in polarity and geometry of molecular bonds for the groups 14 and 15 hydrides on the periodic table and how this affects boiling point, activation energy and dispersion of forces. I have a chemistry exam tomorrow and could use a bit of help okay uh look yeah guys please don't try and turn this into like some sort of university class all right we aren't we could be science professors but we're not um so you know that, that's we can answer that question and we will but like it's kind of it's a bit boring it's shit it's it's shit science but we do sexy science but look the the overall polarity of a molecule with more than one bond is determined from both the polarity of the individual bonds and the shape of the actual molecule itself. Okay, so that's all you really need to remember. And the actual technical answer is it's the vector sum of the individual bond dipoles. 
All right. So just use that for your exam. If that helps. I don't know. That's shit science though. Yeah, I know. It's boring and you guys don't want to hear it, but yeah, like no one else wants to hear those types of answers, you know? So moving on, moving we'll just on, move on. Moving on. I'm surprised we didn't cut that, so, to be honest. Like that's a that's a boring question. We do better shit. We do better shit than like, that. We st- it's like starvation. We sol- solve starvation. We che- tattooed shoes. We check to see if tattooing shoes on your feet is the same as wearing actual shoes. Like real science. People can people can use that, man. Who's going to fucking use the fucking polarity of fucking molecules with more than one fucking bond, cunt? Who's going to fucking use that, cunt? A library? Exactly right, cunt. What are you, fucking library, cunt? It's shit. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we do the real science here, all right? So ask us about the real shit. The real shit. All right, let's move on to secrets. Secrets! Um, I'm just going to do two today because both of them, they're all all pretty long. But um, yes, here we go. Let's do it. Um, All right, this is from... He starts with T. Taya. No. All right, secret boys. Uh, When I was in high school, me and a friend were at the back of the Oval having a cigarette. I don't know why. Uh, when a little kid started throwing rocks at us from over the backyard fence. (laughs) I looked over the fence and saw that he was standing pretty far away. So, I picked up a massive (laughs) boulder and I pushed it over the fence. (laughs) I heard a loud thud and a yelp. And then I heard a scream, you hit my dog. I don't know if the dog survived or not because I ran away. I felt pretty bad. <laughs> you felt pretty he bad. Killed a dog. Oh well. Oh, that would be so <laughs> fucking traumatic. Like, dude, Imagine being in a kid those and moments. That. You've got to be like thankful that you didn't kill the kid, because a dog you'll get over. It's going to take time. No, I'd I would rather prefer the kid. to kill a kid. Yeah, yeah. I would shut no that. Fucking way. If you, you sh- look at Bosley. Yeah, and, and like the dog me. doesn't, and the other the thing about the kid, jail. The kid knows why you've thrown You're a boulder. You're going to go to prison for killing a dog. You might. The kid, the bloody kid knows what country? why the kid knows Germany. The kid knows why you're throwing a boulder at it, right? The dog has not. It's just like oh, I love, and then that alone is enough for me to want to kill a kid over the dog, because you can explain it to the kid. You can't explain that to a poor dog who's ripped in half now. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm coming round. I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. No, but then you've killed the kid. Yeah. Whatever. The kid understands. As the boulder's coming towards him, I was throwing rocks at them. I yeah. kind of deserve it. He this. knew the risks. Yeah. The dog is... No, I'm has back nothing actually. To I'm do back over <laughs> to the dog. <laughs> yeah, you had me for some sick reason. I don't know why. But yeah, definitely I would kill the dog. All right. Next one is from... His letter... First letter of his name starts with J. Carpet. Yeah. Fuck, how'd you know that? <laughs> All right. Secret for the podcast. When I was 14... I was a very horny boy. Don't was, break it. I didn't break it, man. I just cut the tip off. Why? Now it can't be a keychain. I'll show you why. Hey, man. you've ruined my secret. Sorry, dude. He just broke the poo. <laughs> yeah, I'll start play, again. You play with that and tell me it's not all worth it. See? You could be a little little squishy pimple or something. <laughs> put, why don't you put it on your forehead and we'll see about, about that. Lick at the end of it first, silly. Have a little lick. Oh, that came from somewhere. Hmm. No, no, you got to put the wet part, push the wet part down here. I'll do it quickly. I'll quickly do it. Where is it, man? I don't know. All right, Ow. on with the secret. Sorry this about that. Cute. All right. When I was 14, I was a very horny boy and I was very lonely. <laughs> I went to an all boys school. Sounds like a Matt Brown diary. <laughs> <laughs> I went to an all boys school. I had no girls to fuck. So every week I would get a towel and go to the bathroom and I would hump the shit out of that towel while watching porn until I come. There's how- more to go. Just be quiet. Wait, can we just break down how do you fuck a towel first? You probably mold it into a hole. And I've then- heard this from people who've been to jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's creative. Yeah, you mold it into a hole and then fill it with shampoo. Oh, oh my God. Fun. Yeah, really lube it up. You were going to that- try that. Yeah, I'm going to. I will report back next week. You should look up um, prison pocket pussies. <laughs> oh, what a word. Jeez, man. What a sentence. That's what I'm researching. Heard. Anyway, continuing. So I returned home, and uh, for two months, uh, I, would, I was so obsessed with having sex with this towel. I did it for two months while home on holidays. But one day after humping the towel, I forgot to clean off my baby juice. 
and I left it in the bathroom. The next day, the next day, my stepdad took the bath towel without my knowledge. It must have been an hour later when I realized that I'd left the cum towel in there. I quickly ran back to the bathroom, opened the door and saw that the towel was gone. It turns out after my stepdad took his bath and there were no towels left and he took my cum towel. I looked in the laundry and saw the crusty towel all wet and smudged. He didn't even realize, so I guess I'll never tell him. Yeah, that's fucking like whatever. Good on him. Yeah, yeah. so his dad cleaned himself with his it's kids. Just stepdad. With his like, kids' kids. Yeah. His kids' kids wiped all over his skin. That's mm. kind of sexy. I could wank to that. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy one, though. I wouldn't really put much effort in. I'll tell you that much, man. I feel like there was a it moment in my life where perhaps. I had a crusty towel at one point. Yeah, never Man. use towels, eh? Just use towels to like do weird shit, like dry myself. Mm. Yeah, fuck. Like I reckon that's yeah. It's not that crazy story. What about there's there was a, I had a fucking mate in high school. He had you know those beds with the bed bottom frame. What was this? You told me that remember the dude that fucked the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, same guy. Same guy. Yes. <laughs> so this it's a bed base and then a mattress on the base and you fuck the gap in between the base and the mattress. Yeah, I have heard of that. What? And, and there was other times he would just fucking squirt some moisturizer on the bathroom floor and just fuck it. The fuck tiles. The, fuck the tiles. Just hump the tiles. Just like rub up and slip along. Like, slip along the tiles. How? That's like... It's so creative. I, it wouldn't yeah, work. It's and too much. There, 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 a lot of effort. There was another one. He'd get a, a lawnmower. A lawnmower started, put it on its back and then dangle his balls just really close to the blade and that would just make him come. Ticky, 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 ticky. Hit it really quickly. Man, I hugged my pillow a few times, but I never went that far. Oh, you just, yeah, I remember doing the pillow humping yeah. with your friends and shit. You didn't realize what was going on. You pretend on. you had girlfriends for yeah. the night. Holy fuck. You try to teach yourself how to spoon. Yeah. Oh, and you'd narrate to your mates what you're doing. Stick your arm at the top and pretend to make out and practice kissing them while in bed. We we're gonna call, prank call the airport. Airport's fucking the wait time's like two hours for the twenty four hour hotline. So we're like, fuck that. Let's call Julian and <laughs> pretend like something awesome has happened when really it's nothing. Hello, my sweet pie. Hello. Um, I thought I'd fucking call you because <laughs> I've just got, I've just got off the call with a fucking phone with Paramount. And yeah. They, and they had some very exciting news. What is it? They've invited um you know how they want us to do the um the promo for the video for the release? Yeah. They've invited us to LA and they're gonna fly us out there and that they want us to do some of the marketing with um because apparently Zach Ars, you know Zach Ars? Yeah, we, yeah. He put he he spoke to them and said um that, that we'll fucking do anything and showed them the video of Michael ripping his toenail off. <coughs> And so they want to fucking fly us out, but they they were just like me and Michael to begin with. But um, all we have to do is pay for your ticket, and then you can come as well. So that's fucking fun. Dude, that's the fucking best news we've ever had. We're going to fucking LA. Uh, that's pretty sick. <laughs> I'll stay here. <laughs> Dude, this is New Zealand times ten. <laughs> Remember in, during the video last week when you were like. Um, when you're like, this is New Zealand, I said, you're sending me to LA. <laughs> Holy fuck, you predicted it, cunt. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a prank call, isn't it, cunt? This is for the podcast. Yeah, it is. You fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb cunt. You cunt. We're not oh, going to God. LA, man. <laughs> We're staying in Brizzy. Stuck in North Brisbane. Country. We're staying in Brisbane and we're going to wet and wild. <laughs> it just all clicked in my head at once. You fucking cunt. <laughs> you fuck. He fucking believed that. <laughs> Holy fuck. He wasn't even that overly I, excited. Yeah, you, you, I was like, oh, he knows it's a prank call because he wasn't even that fucking excited. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't want to say. I didn't want to sound excited like I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Like I was fucking going like, yeah, yeah, like. I was just trying to act real hard about it. <laughs> that, I was fucking back flipping. I was like, finally, we're getting out of this fucking shithole. <laughs> finally, we get to do something cool other than buy a van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was so fucking That's your good. That's best one, yeah. This has hurt me emotionally. <laughs> oh, oh dude. God. Anyway, Man, we'll... I was like, fuck, that's good. And then you were like, oh, yeah, fuck. It. Like, you predicted it. Like, you were so happy for me. And I was like, why is he... Like, so... And then I just clicked. I was like, they're doing the podcast. Imagine if I can't. fucking just hung up. Like, yeah, anyway, good news, man. Yeah, and then just hung up and then just dude, let you... I let you <laughs> people being like, yeah, I wish, yeah, man. you don't know me no more. I'm big time, bitch. <laughs> dude, oh, that was exactly honestly that's the best prank call we've done in ages. Bragging. Just for that, that was the best. <laughs> he fucking believed it. Anyway, dude, we'll oh, see you tomorrow morning at our regular work at our regular <laughs> normal day. No LA for yeah. you. Oh, my baby. What the fuck do I do? <laughs> 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 what the fuck do I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he fucking. I was like, yeah, I know. I was like, he knows. But then you could tell from his reaction that he was. He's fucking. <laughs> he glued on. He's like, oh, they're doing podcasts tonight. Bang. But it is because I thought I'd get away with it because it's so late. It's late, yeah. Because I thought, oh, surely they'd be done by now. Which fucking tell me about it. We're done. It's the end of it now. Um, I hope you go enjoyed. To the toilet. We fucking. <laughs> we're we'll, we'll gonna organize prank calls a bit better next time. Everything's. We got some bangers, alright? So sorry about that. We didn't re- expect the fucking 24 hour line to be so long. I'm fine. Come back next week. Come and ratchet straight out of LA. <laughs> not. Not yet. Julian. We are the best. We're 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 the best. Best, best, best. Best, best, best. Best best best, 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 best. There it is. Best, best, uh-huh. Now best, we got a little best, jingle going. Best, 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 the best, 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 <laughs> That's a nice jingle though. Can we do it for a bit? For the best, for the best, for the best, for the best. My heart's not best, in it anymore. The best, uh, best, best, best. It's a bit shit. Sorry. Anyway, no more farts. I, I gotta go. I gotta go, man. So do I. No more farts.